I'm kind of like most people. When you tell people that, uh, you know, a, a standard diesel car will run off of vegetable oil, mm -hmm. they're like, what are you talking about? You know, did Martians land and change something? Mm -hmm. I was so programmed to believe that the only way uh, things can run is off of oil that I could not believe that something that grows out of the ground could produce something that could, that could make a car run. So for me, I needed to set up a system where I could actually prove that this was going to work. This is John Hamilton. He is co-president of Seville Pictures, a film distribution company in Montreal. He also happens to make biodiesel on the weekends in his parents' basement. Okay. Where are we going? We're going to Lac Brome, uh, about an hour southeast of Montreal. So we follow John to his parents' country home to see how biodiesel okay. is made. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. You know, I'd made a commitment to have a more environmentally friendly car every time, um, you know, I, I got a new car. I went from gas to diesel, which just running straight diesel cuts down the greenhouse gases, the hydrocarbons. That was my first step. And then after my diesel, I was thinking of hybrid. And what I realized when I did the research on biodiesel um, was that biodiesel actually uh, still produces less hydrocarbons than, than a Prius. Uh, as long as you're running 100% biodiesel, your car is better for the environment than even a Prius is. I basically learned to make biodiesel the same way you learn to make nuclear devices off the internet. Uh, <laughs> it's a safe process, but there are certain parts of it that can be dangerous. If people don't know what they're doing, there is a possibility uh, because of you're using wood alcohol, which during part of the process evaporates, there is a possibility that you could have an explosion. The, the ingredients are really simple. It's basically just canola oil or any, any form of vegetable oil, methyl hydrate, which is basically wood alcohol. And the other product, which is the catalyst, is sodium hydroxide, which is lye. John says that emerging biodiesel producers often use recycled fire oil that fast food restaurants pay to have removed. But John uses canola oil because it is readily available to him. Do you do this for entertainment? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's like, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a hobby. With a drill, a paint can, and a few other household products, John shows us the simple chemical process that produces biodiesel. But it has to settle for 12 hours. So we meet up with him back in the city to see the final product. Yeah. All right, so I need somebody to hold that there. What does it smell like, Paul? It's starting to smell more like apples now. It is? Yeah, you notice it's got a very sweet smell yeah, it's to it. sweet. Nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Today, most diesel engines can be found in trucks and vans. John drives a Volkswagen TDI, one of very few cars made with a diesel engine. Because I thought the car's going to seize, you know, I'm going to screw the warranty on the car, it'll be finished. With a turn of the key, the car starts. Oh yeah, totally. It definitely smells different. You can still smell the... Uh... Oh, totally. You can smell the sweetness. Yeah. What does it smell like? It quasi smells like french fries. <laughs> quasi. And we're off. We don't really know what to expect, but it's really no different from any other ride. But yeah, generally the first thing you, you kind of notice is that um, with regular diesel, because it's full of so many pollutants and, and, and because they take all the sulfur out of it, the engines have a tendency of running a little bit louder. Whereas the biodiesel, it actually makes the engine start to run a little bit smoother. Biodiesel is being added to more and more diesel gas pumps across North America because of cleaner emissions and improved engine performance. According to John, Quebec produces the most biodiesel in Canada. However, it is still not available at retail pumps. I mean, I'm getting 60 to 70 percent more fuel mileage out of this car anyway over gas. So the way I see it, if I'm paying the same amount that I would pay for gas, then I have no problem because I'm driving a car that's more environmentally friendly.